All right, don't know how this is gonna go. Wasn't having any problems like five minutes ago. Had to switch back to the Univega since the Diamondback is still down with crank problems. Was able to get ah yeah yeah exactly what I was hoping wouldn't happen happen. Ugh. I was about to say I got this wheel to work after not having it work before, but apparently not. I'm glad I just went to the post office. That's only a mile and a half in one direction. We, I guess it must have came loose because I did test it a few times before I left. But it may have wiggled loose since it's kind of, you might be able to see it. Since it's a 27 inch wheel, it might not be the best for this fork since it's a quick release and it usually has no problems with since it's for a 26 inch. But when I use 700, but see that those are all uh, bolts, not quick release. And I'm walking because I had to stop right when I stopped to take my camera out. My cog came loose for whatever reason. So hopefully I tightened it enough. I lucked out and I have my chain whip with me, but I might have to take the rear wheel off at some point. I just did it because it was easier with the chain off. Instead of taking it out, I just kept it in the on the bike but it was awkward so I guess I gotta be nimble on the way home and I gotta, guess I gotta find a uh, what's it called chain ring that'll fit on that cog haven't found one about to buy one or just locate the one if I have it hopefully since I'm only going a mile mile and a half I won't have any problems but I might just had to use the 27 inch road bike front wheel because I couldn't get any tubes for that I found that were 26 inch to work with the wheel I usually use for this bike so I just grabbed this wheel because I had an unopened 27 inch tube that I got for this but I had to use it because I have to get another tube for the back wheel I call it's a tire and I've had it for like a year or longer pretty much as long as I've had the bike which is the I had the bike for like a year year and a half so I actually knew where the tube was so we'll see what happens I might have to do might have to use a uh, wrench and tighten the non uh, quick release side of the skewer since it's not for this bike it's being weird on the fork so I might be able to possibly tighten it from the other side, but we'll see. I do have, my sister is giving me two 26 inch tubes for Christmas, but it's Monday the 20th, and I'm not sure what day we're going to her house. 
so I kind of need something. I might. I was gonna go to Walmart over the weekend. But I decided not to because I figured there would be more uh, last minute holiday shoppers than if I went to Dare tomorrow. You know the chances there, but if I went in the morning or the afternoon when most people would presumably be at work, I probably won't have a problem. So we'll see what happens. <coughs> I still have to give my mom a Christmas present and a birthday present because her birthday is next week. So I had to figure that out. And I'm annoyed with uh, Walmart because now if you want to do a pickup order and it's under 35 bucks and you're not a Walmart Plus member, it's now there's a fee. Like if you were to get a, like when they, you do a shipped walmart.com order and it's under 35 bucks, you don't get free shipping. Now for pickup orders, for non-members, it's uh, $5.99 unless it's 35 bucks, which is pretty annoying because I'm pretty sure every other store I've used, they're free and that's the reason to do it because it's more convenient. You only have to wait a few hours depending which store it is and what time you made your order I guess <coughs> all the squeaking may have been because of the front wheel but I'm not sure I haven't had any yet but I haven't gone that far so we'll see uh, going a little bit slower since I had two problems back to back so uh. At least I'm not too far from the house and it's not too cold. I do have my rain jacket on just in case because it's been all over the place. It's been rainy, it's been cold and rainy, it's been sunny and warm. It's been super cold and drizzly for the last two to three weeks. So I figured since I wasn't going that far, 